Good afternoon, this is Claudine here at Rascal & Crow Farm. Uh, I'm just going to show you the removal of the cotyledon uh, leaves on our little heirloom tomato seedlings. <clears throat> now, uh, the first thing that we do is we always check our tomatoes every maybe three, maybe about four or five days. Um, as you can see, if you get a little closer here, you'll notice that the dirt is has a little bit of white on it. And that's just the salts and the minerals, at least in our um, here in our area. We have um, minerals in our water being a well water, so which is perfect for growing anything because we don't have the problem of the chlorine as well as the fluoride in our water. So the water is nice and clean, but you do have minerals and you do have calcium and you do have salts, which is natural in any water. So you will see there's a little accumulation of this whiteness on the top. You want to go around your tomato seedlings uh, just with a little fork like I do. It's a tiny little fork, little cocktail fork. And you just want to zhuzh the soil all around the seedlings uh, so that it aerates the, uh, the soil and it gives the seedling a little bit of air around it and uh, loosens the soil for the water to penetrate the next time you water it. So this is like half dry, the soil. And so you want to wait until your soil is quite dry <clears throat> before you water it again. And because uh, tomatoes like like that, uh, they're almost like a cactusy in a way. And so I am going to show you here, just going to push this little seedling back here so you can see. Um, so these are the cotyledon leaves. You want to pinch these off. Pinch them right off like that, um, just just gently. Um, and so again, just a little, little tiny pinch with your nail. I'm going to pinch that off there. And I'll just throw it in my little bowl there. And you can see that these seedlings, uh, they're about five, six inches tall. And so I do that to all of them. Oh, I just cut, take them right off, just a little pinch. And you need to do this to your uh, to your seedlings when you have your second leaf, like these ones. Now some of them you'll have just one leaf, the other one's quite short on there still. So uh, it just depends. Sometimes you'll, uh, you'll get that one leaf. It's usually two leaves. Um, very odd when you get one. But uh, so that's what you do to go to each one. You take off these cotyledon um, leaves so that the plant will grow vigorously and strong. If you don't do it, the plant tends to be spindly. It'll grow spindly. So you want to take off those first leaves. And that's pretty well all you need to do. So this is uh, the second trans. That's these have been transplanted a second time. And now we just let them grow in their pot until we transplant them into the ground. So I will show you the progression of what these will look like. Uh, three weeks, a little less than three weeks, we'll be hardening them off. And then we put them in our greenhouse for another month until the 1st of June is when we will be planting them in the ground. So you will see how nice in three weeks and then uh, in another month after that to the 1st of June and you see how beautiful and thick and luscious these plants will be. So that's pretty well all she wrote. I will keep uh, taking off my cotyledon leaves. And thank you for joining us. Bye for now.